Yeah, I was just ringing up to say what a great show it was. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, we've listened to it for about for the last two weeks. Yes. The only trouble is I don't get any one-two buckle my shoe. Not enough one-two buckle. Well, Scotty no. McClure is regarded as the biggest contraception in this country. Yeah, oh, it's right. You know, because... the way to end it show. You know, the missus sits up and says, Am I getting a bit of one-two buckle my shoe? And he goes, Shut up, I'm listening to phone in love. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how many... I was out in Chorley today, yeah. and it's amazing how many radios, you know, like they have in the shops. Yeah. Um, turn into centuries. Listen, I'll tell you something, and this is without a word of a lie. Within the radio industry, radio is known as the floor wiper because it's wiping the floor with the other stations and cleaning up big time. Yeah. You know, I, it's it, absolutely incredible. This has been going for a couple of years. Uh, in the Northwest, has been going for about September, October, November, 14 months. Yeah. You know? And there are hundreds and thousands and thousands of people listening. Oh. And it is incredible because it's just it's just wiped all the local radio stations almost into non-existence. Yeah. Oh, it's a brilliant radio station. Quite fantastic. Well, I think because it's so honest with the audience, these other stations have completely lost touch with their audience. Yeah. You know, here you have your audience in the Northwest or your audience in Yorkshire or your audience in the East Midlands. Now, you know, the bulk of us are just ordinary folk wanting a laugh. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not wanting to be patronised. No. And say, that's the latest single from so and so there. You know, yeah. just by, by, by some half-wit. Oh. And people want to, and it's all personality radio. Every single presenter, you know, personality. The music's fantastic, you know? Yeah. And the music's chosen by big, big music people. You know, big, big names in the music business that know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, that know well. what the people want. They've been working for years on radio. Yeah. And they really know the stuff. And uh, uh, fantastic. You know your um, New Year show? The Hogmanay Bash. Yeah. What time does it start and what time does it finish? Starting at 10 o'clock. And right. we'll finish. Well, we'll finish when the people get fed up with me. About 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock or whatever. I think I think probably we'll go till about 2 and that night just to give everybody a decent crack at the phone. Yeah, I'll be listening to that. It'll be, you know, a good way... Well, if you think about it, I mean, what's happening is we're getting all this millennium shoved at us mm. as if you and me are going to go to some luxury hotel in Las Vegas. Yeah. And we're not. No, we're going to okay. stay in Charlie and Manchester, Liverpool, Chester, Blackburn, Leicester, Nottingham, Market, Harbour, and Loughborough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you think, well, wait a minute, hang on, what about the rest of us? And you say, Scotty McLeod's Hogman A. Bash. Yeah. Bigger, no. big, bigger than the Millennium Dome. Oh, easy. <laughs> I'll give them the big wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you'll get a good laugh. Everybody above. And what we do is we have uh, all the old Scottish records. Yeah. We'll get them on as well. We'll have a good dance that then. Get a good bit of dancing. The accordion, the pipe band. We'll probably have the pipe band in. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, it's huge. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Well, you see, if you think about it, you're catering for about 15 million people here. Do you know, I mean, that's a lot of people, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, they could all be listening right this second. Yeah. Just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, just as well, we've got a, a bottle doesn't go in it. I don't either. <laughs> but, but that's what it's all about, and it's just incredible that the response radio is just incredible. And you can see it in the cars when somebody says, like, um, in 106 or 5's on at lunchtime, you yeah, can yeah. see everybody in the cars laughing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dinner time. The, uh, yeah. Another very, very experienced broadcaster, super guy. You know, you can argue the toss about anything. Yeah. Just a quick question. Yeah. We listened to a song uh, the other night, and it was Golden Brown. Do you know who sang that? Golden oh. Brown. Janglers! Brilliant. You know, the wizard always balls in my ear before I, I could... Him. I can see it myself. The triangle as he goes. Yeah. He's an awful man. <laughs> At least he got me answer. He's an enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Scotty, I've got to go. Hey, off. listen up. Yeah, I better let you get away, mate. But lovely to talk to you. And, uh, you know, do join us again. Sorry I confused you with somebody else at the start there. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. You know, but do pop on and join us again. It's always good to have a bit cracked, you know. Yeah. And uh, love to Charlie. Yeah. Love to Copple. Think you do. Yes, I used to stay there, you know. You did? I did. 
All right. I used to go, I spent, I was telling you earlier, I spent a Remembrance Sunday in Couple. Yeah. Over at the church over the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. All right. And the Couple band were playing. Brilliant. Remember that? It's Fantastic. In Couple. Great little band. Yeah. Hey, dinky do, boss. Dinky do, Scotty. See you soon. Bye. So now, now, what a nice lad. There you are now, uh, Martin from Leyland. Uh, dinky do, Martin. Dinky do. How's, Ma how's Leyland tonight? He's, he's not so bad. I nearly said, how's Martin Leyland? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Scotty, how are you? I'm all right, actually. I'm just, uh, yes. I'm amazed like that guy's saying, you know, the response. It is, it's smashing, isn't it? Now, I've got a probably to make to you, and I think it's, is it 10, 10 million listeners you've got? We think 15 because Yorkshire have joined us. Well, 15 million. It was about, it must be four months ago now, I rung you up. And it went over an hour, and I just didn't have the patience, and I put the phone down, Scotty, and I'm very sorry to you and your listeners, because I know a lot of people, you know, want to get on this show, and I just didn't have the patience, and I'm very sorry about that. No, listen, you're absolutely fine. I'll tell you the problem. Yeah. People who are used to ringing a well, local well, radio phone in, they think, I'm not waiting for this, and they don't realise that no. it's something like a three-month waiting list to get on Scotty right. McClue's phone exactly. in. Exactly, and I felt stupid doing it, and, you know, and... You know, it was only just over an hour anyway, so, you know. It's a long wait, and I do apologise to everybody, but it is worth it. No, no I'm apologising, because, you know, because you're not giving somebody else a chance, are you? That's why I'm apologising to you and 10, and 10 uh, 15 million vi viewers, you know. Much appreciated, but it's, uh, nice that, it's nice that you're on just now. That's the main thing. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, there was a guy... Uh, in fact, hold on one second. There is one line free now. I'm just going to tell the nation. One line free, folks. If you fancy your chances, you've got the numbers. You know, I've told you them often enough. Oh, line free bell. Hit the phones. There you go, mate. Sorry about that, but it's only fair, you know. No problem, Scott. But I remember a couple of weeks ago, there was a young guy come on and he says, Arabic... How about bringing national service back to, to, you know, what do you think about that, Scott? Do you think they should? Uh, well, the only thing is, why should the army have all the idiots? Yeah, 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 fair enough. You know, that's the thing. The army nowadays is different from what it used to be. Right. Uh, you know, up until the end of the, the, the Second World War, you had huge infantry regiments, yes. foot soldiers. Yes. You had cavalry regiments still going about. You had, um, you know... Uh, I'm Royal Artillery, sure. Royal Engineers, uh, Remy, you'd, you'd, the catering court, you'd Royal Army Education, you'd all these, and there were big, big recruiters. Now, the thing is that Britain no longer just goes having fights all the time. Right, and, and someone said to me, they couldn't, couldn't afford it anyway. It well, it's not a question of not affording it. I mean, it's uh, because vandalism and, and, and boredom and all that, uh, you know, that I don't believe the government can afford to let our young people go on the scrap heap. Right. You know, so I think definitely people should be doing something. There should be discipline. There should be respect. Um, you know, there should be because a bit of are, honesty. There are some young guys out there, you know, trying to get work and they can't. That, yes. Just, but, to give him a start in life or something similar, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. But I mean, yes, I think that's what it's all about. I think we yes, should go I back to the system. Back, yeah. What I would rather see than see people go into the army is bringing back some sort of apprenticeships. Right. You know, some way that young people can yeah. go there, yeah. learn a proper trade, mm. you know, either whether it's being a butcher or shoeing a horse or, or whatever, yeah. and, uh, you know, getting on with it and making I mean, a living. I mean, I don't, I don't think it might be charged anyone. Anyway. I remember years ago, they used to come over to work at Leather Motors, you know, apprentices with, with £5.17 bob. Nothing you, advertising, you know, Leyland Motors, wonderful. In fact, the old yeah, factory's yeah. still there, well, isn't thanks, it? Thanks for saying that, Scotty, yes. No, no problem. I mean, the, the, the Leyland Motors people, yeah. tremendous. But what I was going to say to you was Albion Motors, uh, right. Leyland as well. Yes. I thought that. Yeah. The little red Albion <laughs> trucks. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, because I always remember a guy in Glasgow when I was a kid. They brought the dancing back in there, I think. The what? <laughs> they brought the what? I think they brought the dancing back, didn't they? Yeah. 
Yeah, they, yeah, they were going. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I know. No, it was just I remember as a youngster in a shop in Glasgow, and I was standing, yeah. and this shop on Mary Hill Road sold absolutely anything. It was called from a needle to an anchor you could buy in Mary Hill Road, and this shop sold iron mongery and all the rest. Of it. And uh, and and it also had uh, you know like uh, animal foods, uh, dog food, and all that. And uh, this little lad comes running in and he says, "Can I get half a dozen nuts?" And the guy said, do you want walnuts or almonds or hazel? And he said, no, he says, I want nuts for me dad's truck, the little red Albion. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's brilliant, that. <laughs> Half a dozen nuts. <laughs> so if 